Stanaline is an international transport and travel service company and one of the world's largest ferry operators. As part of the Stanisphere, the route network consists of 18 strategic ferry lines across Scandinavia and Great Britain with almost 6,000 employees and a modern fleet of 34 ships handling business, private, as well as freight customers. Naturally, security is a big issue for a company this size. The biggest challenge we have today, except the, the normal kind of security as uh, normal in all ports and all kind of industry with intruders, burglars, access control, etc. Uh, IT uh, security is that after the September 11, a, a totally new legislation for ships and ports all over the world was introduced by um, IMO, International Maritime Organization, in United Nations. Uh, and uh, that means that the structure in, in the ports today is totally different from how it looks in, in a port, wherever you're looking in the world before 2004. Besides being responsible for the overall safety and security of ports, employees and customers in the eight countries where Stenaline currently operates, Lars Polson and his group also advised the rest of the Stenosphere around the world. And that was the main reason why we, four years ago, started to look for new security systems, technical security systems, because we felt that we need a totally new view and a new kind of uh, technical security with a flexibility that allowed us to operate all over the world. Finding a system that could be centrally managed and allow them to use other suppliers and locally sourced technical equipment was important. We went away from an older system that we have used to have based on on a principle where the supplier was supplying computers, servers, all equipment. To find a system that had an open, flexible structure that could be easily integrated with the Stena network and other applications was also part of the plan. My intention with this was to go over to a system where everything was operating in the Stena line network system, in Stena line servers, and everyone working with the system is working in clients provided by Stenaline IT itself. An evaluation team was put together consisting of security personnel, IT specialists and external consultants. Their task was to independently report back as to which security system best met the group's immediate and future requirements. All four of them was giving me a report with the same answer, and that answer was Paykel. And when I read that recommendation, I felt this is something I recognize. This is not new. And looking in my paper, I could see that it was exactly the same recommendation he gave me 10 years ago when I was buying the system we are switching out today. I can see that the structure in the system is the same and the technical solutions is the same. Then of course there have been changes in the systems. In the system, it, it's not the, the same ingoing parts in it, it it's, but it's building on the same structure. The system is more open today to be integrated with other kind of uh, subsystems or internal Stena systems as the ongoing pro projects we have today with booking system directly integrated with Paycom. In this plan with achieving more commercial benefits, we also have internal benefits as uh, integration between our HR system with Paycom and the Andes, so that instead of having a lot of different uh, human resources system, which we have to have because we have different legislation in different countries, still we can achieve a common database, for example, 
covering all employees in, in, in the whole group. To be able to have changes in the status at the medical, that if people are going on a sick leave, changing a job in the company, changing location, whatever. The information about that is automatically transferred to who it belongs to. If I look back on the system I used to have, which I'm sw uh, switching out, I expect to reduce my cost for the technical uh, security with about 25%. Today, we have a technical platform we started to build 10 years ago and we're still building. It's an ongoing process because this company or this kind of business as shipping is, is a never ending story. It will never be a situation where we order a system, install it and that's it. It's a long term relation between supplier, maintenance and customer. And it will, as far as I can see, never end because we will never be finished.